Welcome back guys to the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, where after getting ourselves another hard container through hard pieces, finding out where we need to go next from the Elder, finding ourselves bomb bags, and then exploring, or at least starting exploring, Hyrule Castle Town. We've just come back out to the front because I remembered about the bomb wall we saw right at the start, so let's find out what's in that. Let's hope for some more cash, I'd say, after using it all, but we found ourselves instead. Fairies, this reliable ally will replenish your life energy. Though I'd need bottles to really use them. We're looking at the item menu here, if anything, that looks like the traditional bottle slots for me. There are four of them, in fact. Let's hope to get them later, eh? Let's hope to find a bottle or something. So we can fill them up with fairies now that we know that there's an easy replenishable source right next to Hyrule Town. So let's get looking through a little bit more. Let's find out what other places this has to offer. The door is shut, we can't open it from this side. Well, we just go around the other way then, it'll be fine. Hey. Apart from that, the scary monster shop is unfortunate, because it's not open yet. Ah, well, we'll just have to come back later, won't we? I'm sure, what about the shoe shop? The shoe shop works. Hello, sir. Wake up. What's that? Oh, welcome. Welcome to Rem's shoe shop. Lately, whenever I take a nap, all my shoes are done when I wake up. You know, if I can make shoes in my sleep, I must be in the right job. And with that said, indeed it is. The hole in the top signifies a space for us to shrink down. And thankfully, there's something inside that a little bit soft for our landing. That's right! Even some human objects are portals to the Minish world. Those Minish may not look like much, but they are quite crafty. Indeed they are, but with an obvious ladder or set of stairs, I would have said we'd get to the Minish, but there's shoes in my way. So while I may be able to shrink that, can I leave like this? Because there's places I can explore outside. No, I can't even get out of here either. Look at that kind of roll though, it's crazy. Oh, well, I guess we make ourselves big again. I don't think he's going to move the red shoe for us, is he? Just sizing things up at the moment. And now he's falling asleep and the Minish are moving their own shoes again. What's going on? Okay then, but we've got ourselves some kind of store over here. I really want to play a game, but this place isn't open yet. I guess I just got here too early. I'm sure. Well, I'm guessing lots of things will open up as we go. We've got a bread shop over here, though. Oh, doesn't that smell spectacular? I'm sure it does. Perhaps they give out free samples. I say, would you ask for me? Okay, okay, I'll ask. Hmm, <laughs> must make deliciousness. I'm sure you are. Well, I'll ask you, madame. Welcome. Please, bring whatever you'd like to buy up to the register. No free samples, that's for sure. How much does this cost? Welcome. You've come to the one and only bakery of Wheaton Peter. Our delicious brioche which may or not have something special inside, is a filling and fulfilling bargain at only 20 rupees. But I don't buy well, I might need those 20 rupees, but it might have something cool inside. I don't know. Oh, we'll buy it. Right, you bought a brioche. It looks so crusty and delicious. Brioche, isn't it? And there was a kinstone piece inside your tasty treat. What incredible luck. I'm sure we'll get ourselves a kinstone piece to go for our 20 rupees. I wonder if that's a cheap trade. It looks like there was a way inside Minish-wise for a little bit. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to check it for a bumble area. Well, that is not what's going on. Hello, Melvin. You're always onwards, I know. I'll get out your way. I can't jump into the well. Let's keep exploring. Though. There's a chest up there. Hey. We cannot enter. Hmm, that's unfortunate. They're not open yet. Well, the doors are open. Just let me go in. It's a treasure chest. Can I just take it? Goodness me. Hello, old man. Ooh, secret place. I think the mayor's doing a fine job, no matter what people say. I'm sure. I've not met this mayor. Are you the mayor? That mustachioed guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. There's something fishy about this room, too. What about it? Apart from the fact there's a jar there. Which now I've got to figure out a way to rotate it, haven't I? Well, I can't roll into it to hit it. That sucks. Oh, well, I'll speak to you, I guess. <laughs> I'm Hagen, mayor of this fair town. Mayors are usually very important and busy folk, I'll have you know. But I still have a hobby, of course. I collect unusual masks. 
I just love them. They're beautiful. Simply magnificent, I tell you. I'm sure. Anything else to say? Well, you, again, are looking at that jar quite intently. But I cannot do anything with it. I think I finally got a good grasp of how things run in Hyrule. Things run so smoothly around here, and I haven't even done a thing. I wonder how much better this place would be if I actually did anything. I'm sure, well, all the same, considering you've got a door out here. I'm gonna head down for whatever secrets I can find, or goodies I can find. Excuse me, Bat. Do you wanna give me some rupees? I'm a bit out of dosh. We got ourselves a red kinstone piece. These mystic stones are said to bring happiness. So now we've got green, blue, and red. Let's kill the other bat. Just because I need some cash. Oh, you come down here. I want to hit you. Yeah, yeah. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me in a place I can get my money. Anyone? 20 rupees, please. Poor boy here. Needs a bit of dosh. Don't you know? Though, interesting. That is the masks line the wall like that. I can't bring them down like that. I can't roll into them either. I was wondering if I can... Because it looks like there's a path up there for a minish sized person. Well, apart from that... Oh, you look a bit menacing. Well, it is an honor. It is good to see you again. School is in session right now, so I'm afraid I can't let you in. Why not? Don't I have to learn as well? Oh, it looks like they're having fun in there. I wish I could play with them. Why can't you? Why aren't you in school? Hello, guard guy. Sorry, but I can't let you pass. There are monsters out there. I know, I defeated a fair few already. In fact, a giant chew, which is kind of a normal sized chew, really, but still. Hello, warpy spot. And chess again with minish pots. Hold of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Well, thanks for opening that up once more. Hey, that stone obelisk crumbled. And there's another of those marks. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. I'm sure it does, but apart from that... Oh, you won't let me in here either? We're working here, sorry. We can't let you pass. Sorry, but I'm like... Go Melman. I'm like the guy doing the mission for you people. There's cats and a barrel over there, a box. I can't pull in either. I can't pet the cats. I came to check out a book, but they're not open yet. Ah, well, age brings patience, honey. I can wait. But what do you want to do, sir? You want rupees, do you? you want to fuse kinstone? Sure, why not? Though, I, oh, I do have one that fits. Brilliant. Not like he had money in his mind, but still, the two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. A green one is done, and what will that give? Where will it give it? Where is that? Well, the chest appears. Okay, this is back in the Minish Woods, is it? Well, that's a long way away. They fit perfectly. I didn't expect that. Maybe something good will happen now. Well, I could travel to go get it, but we're exploring here, sir. And we had the Minish thing. We could get through here. Ah, oh, we need to be small, though we do seem to have a postman's place. Hello! Stamp, stamp! Right to left, I'm sure. Stamp, stamp! It never ends. Anything else to say? Stamp, stamp! Right to left. He's just getting to work. Oh, he's just the sorterer. There are all male ones out there. Can we get to that, I wonder? I don't know. It's a mailbox. I want to interact with it. And then say a certain phrase. One of the guard over there seems to not want me to go anywhere. There's a minish house sitting right here. Apart from that, this dog seems to be a natural blocker. Oh, Melman, yeah. You can jump past the dog. I can't do that. Sorry. Swiftblade School in the south end of town is really awesome. Teacher Swiftblade has an amazingly direct teaching style. I wish I could train there. I'm sure you do. Apart from that, let's check out this final house, eh? I come from a faraway land. You can tell by my clothing, can't you? Well, that's for sure, but you want to do something with kinstones, don't you? Alright, so we don't have anything that can match, I'm afraid. Sorry, sir. Apologies. Oh, you had a change of heart? Well, I'll be here. Well, I just didn't have anything that could match. I'm sorry, sir, but we've at least done one. And you won't let me out either. Ho ho, so you've learned the spin attack. I have. It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Oh, okay. Well, let's see how you do. Show me that spin attack. Okay. First, I let this sparkly thing go up my sword. Then it shines a bit, and then I go. And then the mailman jumps over my head. Yeah, that's the one. There are monsters out there, kid. You just make sure you're careful. Ah, you didn't make it, did you? 
Okay, I can make it. Okay, cool. Mount Cronel, which is where we need to go. That was a treasure chest for us. We enter the Trilby Highlands. Sorry, guy, I had to get rid of you. Five rupees I will take, though. Right, we've got ourselves some entrance to underground over here. A load of rocks. Let's take the mysterious shells and whatnot. I just don't ever know if there's any secret areas underneath places. But there are secret areas. They'll be down here, won't they? And with that said, with flashy floor... Blocks that we cannot push... We can still make it through there. It's like obvious stuff that I don't even try with, because it's like, eh. That's obviously some kind of item for something, but we've got ourselves a business scrub. Let us talk. Let us do business, sir. Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. You can have this most deluxe of all bottles for only 20... Oh, a bottle. So what do you say, huh? Sure, I would, but I've only got six rupees. You don't have enough rupees. Come back later. I need to farm for rupees then. I need that bottle. I need it now. Well, I guess none of them here has it. So this has got to be for something. I'm sure we'll find out in time. In the meantime, I guess it's break every block and look for rupees everywhere. Not a single one to be found. Well, I'll hit you with that. Don't if you rupee, do not drop it, sir. That would be mean. No, not a single... Now I need rupees. One is never going to drop. Come on, I had a hundred not too long ago. I know I spent them on my own accord, but still, okay, we cannot make it through. There is a cave down there with blue beasties. Where do I go? I need some money. I need a bottle. Okay, I can't open that. We enter Mount Cronell's base, so... Hello. It's a trap! Or maybe not. Well, I got my 20 rupees. That's great. My inner Admiral Akbar has sorted things out. But where do I go from here? Well, apart from the fact that the obvious breakable wall is there. Let's blow you up. Sky high, sir. And if I'd say anything, we need to make you grow somehow. Okay. Business scrubs. Bombs, though, which is definitely what I wanted to pick up there. I can find them in the wild, I don't just have to purchase them. Right, open up. Fire! What do you have to do business with? Do you have something to grow that vine? Okay, you got me! I'll make it up to you by telling you something good. Okay, you're not a business scrub. A friend of mine in a cave in the south of Chorby Highlands has a handy tool. Yeah, what, you mean the bottle? If you want to climb Mount Cornell, I suggest you go buy it from him. So the bottle's the key? Well, I had the rupees now, at least. I was hoping for some more there. If the bottle's the key, then I think I can figure out a little bit about what's going on. What's this way? Royal Valley, Mount Cronell is this way. Well, there might be more defeatable enemies for more rupees. So that'd be good. Let's check out this area first. I know I have the money, but... Exploration is strong in this one. Enemies, but... Not much else, not even rupees. And just water. No bridge that we can cross, no way that we can get over. There's a lever up there, though. Probably to put the rest of that bridge across. And if I had to say anything, we probably will get a power to swim at some point. But now that I have the rupees... Sir! Oh, do I have to not battle you again? That's good for me. I'm fine with that. And those shells are more expensive in the first place than rupees. Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. You can have this most deluxe of all bottles for only 20 rupees. So what do you say, huh? Sure, but now we've got to figure out exactly what to do with it. And I think I've got an inkling. Use it to store all sorts of things. Thanks a lot. No problem, sir. I ain't got nothing to sell. I'm sure you don't. I just took it. I'll take more mysterious shells in the meantime. Rupees, please. I really need it at this rate. Oh, we got ourselves another kinstone piece. Not bad. Keep on moving onwards. So now that we've got a bottle, if I just equip it, can I... Yes, I can. You put water in your bottle. Sprinkle it on different things. We just sprinkle it down like that so we can get it at any point in time. And what I'm thinking is we water the plant, but mind you, the plant does have water anyway. So this is a stupid idea. 
Maybe I get a fairy and I use a fairy on it. Or maybe I just water it. Water it worked fine. So with that said, let's grab some more. Take it with us. Just in case we need to grow our own. Oh, hello, tech tights. Get gone with you. What does this say? Dangerous. No climbing. You're telling me. Well, I'll go round first then. Let's defeat all the monsters. Oh, another place to bomb. Let's do just that. Switch off the water, keep it in case we need it. I'm looking caves for all the goodies it may contain. And fairies to go with it. But thankfully, Rupee's on top of it. I could bottle myself a fairy here, but... There comes the problem. And we might need it for the water after all. Oh, ow, ow! The tree spiked me? Well, you definitely hit me. You've got a free hit, sir. Nicely done with that. I do wonder if there's any secrets hidden in the places like this. None at all. Okay. We've got ourselves a shrinkable place over there. Hmm. Where to go is the interesting thing for me. I was about to say... We can definitely test things. The obvious bumble wall is obvious. Considering the fact that there's a path just up there, a ladder to climb. Get myself up higher, red shoes. You wouldn't last long though. Hopefully, anyway. Get away from me, red shoes. All defeated, is there any other goodies in here? Oh, I can't pick up these rocks. But I can head upwards. So, with that said, hmm, I guess I bomb you? Blow you up that way, and then jump in. But am I supposed to be going this way yet? Questions, questions. Let's drop inside the rock. And that doesn't look like such a soft landing, unless they're cubes of jelly. Jelly crystals! So this perfectly normal-looking stone was another portal to the Minish world. I suppose I would have remembered that if I'd stopped to think about it. Yeah, thank you for stopping to think, ever. But all the same, we'll make it through this way just to see what's here. The spirit of exploration is strong in me, though it seems to be, ah, boulders! Decaying leaves more than anything. And with your running like that, you suddenly got a little bit more threatening than you have been before, but what we reach is just what seems to be a field of poison. No way to make it any further than that. So we may have done some exploring, but we definitely haven't found the right way to go. So with that said, let us return to our normal size. Knowing that we've got some place to check out whenever we can wade. Whenever we can actually be in the water proper. When you land on me, sir. And if you're gonna die, give me a heart. That'd be nice of you. We've got ourselves... Some gusts of wind, another bomb of war, which we of course have bombs already equipped. And another entrance over there, though I think I'm supposed to be doing some rock climbing. The exploration is strong in this episode. So we can make it over, no problem. I was a bit distracted by this then, for some reason. Alright, there's no way up over there. We can make it higher this way. Oh, we're going to have to attack you in the back, aren't we? Once you've pulled off their iron masks, these guys are no trouble whatsoever. Aha! Thank you for the tip, sir. I would have attacked him in the back fine, because he was facing the wrong way at this point. If I can do that... That's not a problem for me. Ow! Oh, it says not a problem, but now I'm being spiked from everyone. You have a jar in the face. That's one way to do things, after all. Alright, seems to be some rupees around here at the very least. Of course, when I say that, no more rupees exist. I can't fire back his own mask in? I bet he'd catch it in some kind of devious method. Come at me, Jars. Give me lots of rupees. 
We've made it through to where now? Hmm? Hmm? Of course, how silly of me! Hey, my boy! Jump into that vortex over there for me! I think I've got an idea! Do you? Well, I'd like to hear more about it before I commit. And we can bring these guys back up with a gust jar as well! Right, in we go! Where am I flying to is the question. It seems I fly to the next gust so I can get over. Have I missed something by not travelling up there? That's what I'm wondering at this point. But nothing to be found there. No secrets there either. So much places to explore, but not much done thus far. I'm wondering what this kind of bit of ground is there, but we banish that guy into the nether. And so we end up with tons more places to explore. Mount Cronell seems to be crazy in itself, but is there a place for us to shrink down somewhere near? It seems like there is not. Ow, 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 spiky trees. Or have we just found ourselves a place to shrink? Ow, what, 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 what is hitting me? Is it the floor that hit me? No, but we cannot roll into it or fall into it. If we could make ourselves small somehow, some way, we could surely find something to do. And that we have found. Right, so, well, another way to clear ourselves forward for even more exploration, we continue onwards. Next episode for Minish Cap, as we explore Krenal Mountains to find our next dungeon. I'll see you around. Bye-bye.